In this three-minute teaching with technology tip, we're taking a look at TACK, T-A-C-K-K dot com. You sign up for TACK get by giving it uh, your email address and a password, just like many other applications, and then you validate and you are good to go. When you come in here and you want to start creating, if you do hit this Create button, you can choose a blank canvas, which is really easy to get started with. The class assignment um, template is geared more towards students. Uh, in any case, they're really pretty easy to use, so if I grab the blank canvas here, uh, what I see is I've got these different kinds of uh, media that I can insert. So I can make a headline, insert some text, insert a photo, a video, audio, and some other cool functions. So if I click on the video option here, I'll get the choice of different um, types of video services. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in a YouTube video. And I teach an emerging technologies class. So perhaps I'm going to have a piece on Google Glass. Now let me go ahead and add a headline to this. So I click on headline. And I'm just going to go ahead and say Google Glass. Maybe I also want to add a text element here where I ask the students to uh, to watch the video and comment on what they find most interesting about Google Glass as well as concerns that they think this raises and, and there will instantly be a comment stream here at the bottom of the tag. Now note that you can add additional media here so you can have multiple panes of media stacked on top of each other so if I hit photo for example I could go grab a photo I can uh, upload it from my computer as well or go get it from Instagram or a URL uh, or I can just decide that I don't want that particular module. And I can mess with colors and there's various tools here an important one I want to point out under options is the ability to make this private so if I click on private I can have it set to be private and I can also password protect it um, so if I do that and add a password to it then um, not only is it a private link that doesn't get shared across the web but with the password protection only the people who have the password are going to be able to use it so you can make this truly and fully private to publish it I'm going to click on I'm going to turn the, the private back off again and I'm going to hit publish tack and now I can invite friends through email or Facebook to share this uh, to view this tag so I can choose who to email it to uh, I also will have various share options available to me so over here we see all these social media uh, options. We can also embed this in a web page and here's the link that I can use and copy and share directly any way I wish. And that URL, since I made it private, will be not, not be found through a search engine, but if I paste it in as a student who knows it, I can come down. In this case, I entered my name as test comment and I just typed comment example. So it's really that easy to make, create, and share a private TAC web page with different media content. 